So we're gonna look at identifying the slope and the y-intercept um, when we look at a graph or from a graph. All right, so the first thing we need to know is what is a y-intercept? Well, the y-intercept, if you think about the word intercept, what does it kind of sound like? Intersect, maybe. Um, it's where the line, the y-intercept of a line is the y-coordinate of the point at which the line crosses the y-axis. Okay, so the y-intercept is gonna be where the line crosses the y-axis. So this is your y-axis, and the line is crossing it right here. Okay, so this is the y-intercept right there. All right, just like M, what did we use M for? We used it to identify the slope, rise over run. Okay, there's a variable, a letter, that helps us represent the y-intercept. And that's the letter B. And again, I don't know why M is slope, and I don't know why B is the y-intercept. It just is. Um, you're going to use it in a formula in a couple um, days. So just know that M is the slope and B is the y-intercept. All right, so let's look at these graphs and see if we can figure out M is the slope and B is the y-intercept. So to find the slope um, and the y-intercept, and then we're supposed to describe the word, in words, the slope of the line. Okay, so... The slope, if we pick two points, well, first let's do the y-intercept. Y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis, not the x. Don't get that confused. It's only the y, y-axis. It's crossing the line right here. Well, what point is that? It's at when y is what? Negative t. And b, the y-intercept is just the y value. You don't have to write out the whole point. It's just the y. Okay, so it's actually when x is zero, right? There's no x. Well, there is an x coordinate, in it, but it's always zero. All right, so if I choose this point, and then I'm gonna choose another point, second point on the line where it crosses. Now sometimes this is hard to do because it looks like it might be not quite on the intersection. But here's a point here that they identified for me. So I'm gonna figure out um, the rise over the run. So I wanna know how many it takes to get from here to here. And this line is going up, so that's a positive change. So it goes up one, two, three, four, six, seven. So the rise is seven, and I wanna know run, how far does it go over? One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna go over five. All right, so one, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so I'm gonna write that as a ratio of seven over five. And then the intercept I already found. So if I just wanna describe my graph, how's it, well, how would I describe it? It's positive, it's going up, okay? All right, let's look at the next one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the y-intercept so I don't get that mixed up. Now, this is not the y-intercept because it's intercepting the what? X-axis, I'm looking at y. All right, so again, where is this crossing the line? At negative two, again. All right, <coughs> now I need to find another point so that I can find the slope. Um, I like this point here because I already identified it for me so I know it's on the line. So I wanna go, um, from this point to this point. So first thing I need to decide, is this a, gonna be a positive change or a negative change? Well, am I going down? Yes, one, two, three. It's not just change of three, it's a change of negative three. All right, and then the run, how far does it go over? One, two, three, four, five. It goes over five. So my um, slope is gonna be that change in my y, negative three, over the change in my x, which was five, my rise over my run. All right, and then how would you describe this line? The slope is negative, it's going down, which I can see here when I read my graph left to right, as I always do. All right, look at the next one, the y-intercept is where it intersects the y-axis, so that would be right here, so this time it's at the point one, or when d is one, All right? I need to know the slope, here's a point here for slope, so I'm gonna go um, up this time, so that's a positive change, so I'm gonna go up one, and then over how many? One, two, three, four, five. Right, my slope is my rise, one, over my run, five. One over five. Okay, that doesn't simplify, so that's my answer. It's a positive slope, so this line is going up. <coughs> All right, and then it says use the given slope and y-intercept to graph each line. All right, so it really only takes two points to make a line. So if they give us one to start with, the y-intercept, then I can use the slope to get to the second point. And I can graph multiple points, but 
Um, really what I need is two. So if B is one, that's the Y intercept. And the Y intercept, so where it crosses the Y axis is at one. So where is one? It's right here, picture a point here. All right, then you're gonna use the slope to find to get to the next point. Well, what does the slope two thirds mean? It means the rise is two and the run is three. So from this point, I'm gonna go up two, up two, two, and I'm gonna go over how many? Three, I'm going up because it's positive. One, two, three. That takes me to this point right here. All right, and if I could keep going, I could go up two and then over three more. Okay, you can also go backwards, right? So in this case, I'm going down just because I'm going backwards. Down two and over three. One, two, three. Give me right here. All right, and then I could draw my line. All right, let's try another one. The y intercept is zero. Where do you think that is? Right in the middle. Okay, the slope is negative one half. So when the slope is negative, my line does what? It goes down. So I'm going to go down how many? That's the top part. Go down one and then over how many? I always go to the right unless I'm working backwards. Always going to the right. So over two, my second point. Okay, and this time I have room, so I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to go down one again and over two. Okay, if you want to work backwards, instead of going down, you go up, but you go two this way. Up and go two this way. Okay. All right, look at six. The y intercept, B, is the y intercept, so where it crosses the y axis is at negative two. It would be right here. Okay, this time the slope is negative three. Well, that doesn't give us the whole rise over run thing. So, how could we get the whole rise over run thing? We can make it a fraction by putting negative three over one. Right, the slope is negative. That tells me my line is going to go which direction? Down, right? So I'm going to go down three. One, two, three. I'm going to go over always to the right one. All right, so that is two points. I could draw my line, but if I just want some more dots on my line, all right, I'm going to work backwards. So instead of going down three, I'm going to go up three. One, two, three, and over this way this time. One, two, three, and over. All right, look at seven. Here, the y-intercept is three, so I'm gonna put a point at three, and the slope is zero. All right, so I could do zero over one if I want to, right? Or I could remember, if it has a slope of zero, what kind of line is that? It's a special kind of line. O, it has an O and an O horizontal. It's gonna be a horizontal line, but it's horizontal this way. Okay, but let's say I just forgot. The slope is zero, so the rise is zero, so I'm not gonna go up at all. I'm just gonna go over one. I'm not going to go up. I'm just going to go over. I'm not going to go up. I'm just going to go over. Is that what you end up getting? A horizontal line? Yes, that's what you get. Okay, so remember horizontal. You got a zero over the line, a zero horizontal. Um, all right, look at the next one or the last one. M is undefined. Okay, so this is one of those special cases also. Right? Undefined. That's when the zero is under the line. What kind of line is undefined? Um, so I don't know that I, that the way I remember this one, it's not horizontal, right? Because we know that that's zero. Undefined is a vertical line. So I just think of UV, like UV rays kind of thing. Undefined, vertical. All right, so this, look at this one. Okay, did they give us V equals anything in this one? No, this time they gave us X equals four. And that's because vertical lines go this way, All right? So did they cross the Y axis? Nope, not unless they are the Y axis. All right, so we don't need to know y. In this case, we need to know x. So x is 4. So this time I'm going to do this only because it says x is 4, not b. Okay, and it's a vertical line, which means it's going this direction. All right, so to graph, you just start with your y-intercept where it intersects the y-axis and then use your slope to get to the next point. All right, see you later.